Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another video. So in this lesson, we're not going to do any actual coding. What we're going to do is set up the input system. So just to explain how I want the game to work, I want you to be able to use both a controller and keyboard. Um, as such, I want the camera system assigned to the arrow keys and the right analog stick and the movement as you can expect is going to be to the left analog stick the d-pad and the wsad keys so that is what we're going to set up in this video so we're going to come to project settings and to input manager so we have um, these horizontal and vertical, the duplicated. So what we're going to do is change the first one to camera underscore horizontal. And we're going to do the same for the vertical. And what we're going to do is delete the alt, positive and negative buttons. And that is going to leave us with just the arrow keys. As you can see, type, key or mouse button. So that will allow us to move the camera just using the arrow keys alone. We'll collapse those back down. We'll come to the others. And we're going to change their names exactly the same. So camera underscore horizontal and vertical. Um, these must be the same. because Otherwise this will not work. So just be aware of that. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this time the type is set to joystick axis. So for the horizontal it's going to be the fourth axis for the right analog stick. And the fifth axis right analog stick for the vertical. Again make sure it's set to joystick axis this time. And we'll just downsize, we'll just close that a moment. We're going to come to the camera script. And we're going to change this to obviously our new naming convention of underscore camera horizontal. And underscore vertical. I'll probably break these up for commenting in a different way but um, you can do that yourself so I'm just going to save that off and let's just check if that works I already have a 360 controller plugged in and that's what all my controls are going to be based on the Xbox 360 controller and um, if you want me to use other controllers please do let me know but again that will probably come later for the moment I'm just going to um, concentrate on an Xbox controller and keyboard for now let's hit play and now the left analog stick is doing nothing as is the A, W and S keys Let's check the arrow keys and they work absolutely fine and so does the right analog stick. So we're going to stop that there and we'll open the project settings input manager back up again. And we can actually... Uh, in this video we'll get the movement ones in place also
So all we need to do is duplicate the current one. So let's duplicate camera horizontal and camera vertical. And we're going to pick one and we're going to change this to movement underscore horizontal. Left is going to change to A, positive to D. And we're going to do the same here. So change it to movement. And we're going to change down to S and up to W. And we'll collapse that down. So we're going to duplicate the camera horizontal and the camera vertical. And again, we're going to change this to a matching movement underscore horizontal joystick axis is now going to be, if I remember correctly, the six axis for the left analog stick and up for the left analog stick is the seventh axis so let's just change that again making sure to change the name and what we're going to do now is do for the d-pad so a um, movement horizontal the bottom one we're going to duplicate that now, the D-pad is still classed as an axis. So, in fact, I've made a mistake, actually. Let's just come back. The six axis is the D-pad. Sorry about that. That is the D-pad. And the seven axis is the D-pad. The left analog stick is the x value so apologies for that um it just got mixed up in brain there for a moment so i do apologize but yeah as long as you've got two movement horizontals here and here one is set to 7th axis for the vertical and Y axis on the vertical and for the two horizontal is 6 and X. So 6 axis is the D pad and so is 7th. And we're just going to close that off there. We're going to leave it there for this lesson. Fairly simple one. Um. If we, in fact, let's just hit play to begin with, and I'm just going to check that we are getting no glitching. So left analog stick AWS bit D pad still not affecting the camera, but the arrow keys are, and so is the right analog stick. So everything's still working. Obviously, we don't need to test out the movement once because we'll be doing that automatically um, as we begin to program the blocks to be able to move and rotate. So, um, well, as I say, that will automatically be tested. Um, I just felt it was important to get this out of the way in one single video. Um, and now we can just concentrate on programming, which we will get back to in the very next video, implementing some more features. So I'll see you in the very next lesson. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you next time. And as always, until then, bye for now.